All right, this is the last problem. Solve the problem using the given table to find the monthly payments. Okay, here's our given problem. Jesse's new snowmobile cost $16,000. After his down payment of $3,000, he financed the remainder at 6% for four years. Six percent that would be this row right here for four years four years that's this column ooh that worked nice and when the yellow and the blue cross over each other we get green and so this is our number right here okay first of all we need to figure out how much is he financing? His snowmobile cost $16,000. However, he put down a down payment of $3,000. So he handed them $3,000. So they took the $3,000 off the price. That makes it $13,000. He financed the remainder. He financed the remainder. A remainder is what you get after you subtract. This is what he's gonna finance, the $13,000. Now remember, this table will do um, monthly payments on a $1,000 loan. So I have to take the 13,000, divide it by 1,000, and that's gonna equal 13. 13 is what I have to multiply the $23.49 by. $23.49, that was this green number that I got from the table. That is how much you pay per $1,000 that you borrow. He has borrowed $13,000, so I have to multiply it times 13. And that's gonna give me $305.37. Okay, Jesse's new snowmobile cost 16,000. After his down payment of 3,000, he financed the remainder at 6% for four years. Find the monthly payment for the amortized loan and find the total interest paid on the loan. What we just did, this answer right here, that is his monthly payment. I do that in purple. Find the monthly payment. That's this answer here. And then it says also find find the total interest paid on the loan. Okay, he's gonna send in $305.37 every month for the next four years. Four years times 12 times a year is 48, 48 payments. Here's his payment, 305.37. You're going to multiply that times 48 to figure out how much overall he has sent in. When I do that, I get $14,657.76. But the snowmobile cost, after he refinanced it, this was the cost of the snowmobile. He already paid the 3000 so he's financing 13000 If you subtract the $13,000 from this, come around a room, he will have spent an extra $1,657.76 worth of interest. So in order for him to take four years to pay this thing off, it cost him an extra $1,657.76.
because he didn't have the entire 16000 He only had 3000 So he gave him the 3000 and he said, well, I'm going to have to finance the rest. I can't pay 13000 right now, but if we can spread it out over four years, I can do that. Using their table, four years and it's 6%, um, that's $23.49 for every $1,000 that you borrow. He borrowed 13 of them. So his monthly payment was that purple 305.37. And he's going to send that in every month for the next four years. So that's 48 payments. So I multiply that times 48 to get that 14,000 number. And then I subtracted off the $13,000 that he financed. So he's paying an extra $1,657.76 worth of interest. And that is how it works, people. Fun times. So I can't tell you how many cars I have financed over the years, but I'm doing one right now, as a matter of fact. All right. So that's the end.